Hey guys, Steven here back with another video and today I'll be teaching you how to create the text effect you see in Saturation 1's cover arts uh, for their singles. Every time Broadhampton drops a new album, their single cover arts have a similar theme. So in the first of the trilogy, there's actually uh, like a gradient type text effect and it's actually created in Illustrator. So I'm going to teach you how to do that. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you like this video. And with that being said, let's get straight into it. I actually don't use Illustrator at all, but I find this very, very simple. So don't worry if you have no experience. The first thing I'm gonna do is type in my text. So I'm gonna type in sugar, um, just because that's a single that really blew up for Brockhampton recently. So once you have your text, you wanna just copy and paste it twice so that you have three copies. And now you just wanna select different colors for each of the text. So for this one, I'm gonna like do yellow, green, blue maybe. Actually, maybe a lighter blue like this. Now we're gonna st we're gonna stick with these colors right now. And we're gonna change it later, maybe. Um, and now you just want to line it up so it creates like a zigzag, like back and forth. And all you want to do is like highlight all of these, drag and select all of the text, or you can select um, on the text while holding Shift. It does the same thing. And now you want to go to the blend tool and double click on it, go to specified steps and select hundred and press okay. And now you just want to click on each individual text layer. It doesn't matter what order you go in. Um, it will create a different gradient depending on the order you do. So you can kind of mess around with it. So you see what that does. I think this looks cool, but the problem with this is you can't really see the text, right? So you can either change the color or you can change the order like that. I think these colors are maybe too similar. Maybe that that's why. So now we, we're going to do this again. We're going to highlight them all, double click. Okay. And now we're going to find the right order. I don't think that's the right one. So I'm just going to go with this order. And basically what you can do is if you select on the direct selection tool, you can actually change sort of the position of these. So you want to hover over where it says anchor and double click while you're on the direct selection tool. And now you can move this. Okay, that's a little messed up. But something like this is good, right? You wanna make sure that the text is at the top. So I'm just going through here. You can see the text is at the top in all of them. And they sort of like goes downward left and then right so something like this so i think this is actually perfect it's just the colors aren't so good so i think i found the color combination that works i just wanted to kind of match it with the, the actual text like if you go back here heat has like the heat colors and gold has like yellow so i wanted to make sure sugar was like a soft on um, like sort of like subtle color scheme so here i have it and you can obviously rearrange it so that the text right here is a little more visible so you can move it down. I think that that's the best thing. So yeah, that's about it for this tutorial. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to hit the thumbs up button. My name is Steven and I'll see you in the next one.